All right, let's go ahead and disassemble one of these trucks. <clears throat> and then I'll show you some stuff about rebuilding them. Why do we gotta rebuild them? Because they're old and they've got old grease in them. So what we're gonna do first, now this here is the truck that had the motor on it that we put our wire on. We're gonna do the same thing on this guy. We're gonna send them into ultrasonic first. Now I want you to take a note of one thing. See the side frames? They got a little play in them. That's on purpose. Okay, that's supposed to be that way. And we want to make sure it stays that way. Also take note of the end of it. See the little rounds phosphor bronze bearing in there? And how it is kept in place by the bottom plate? That is important. And we'll find out why. So we take out the bottom screws. Let's put all of our screws into one spot. You think this would be obvious taking out the bottom screws, but not necessarily. Okay, so then the bottom plate just lifted out. No problem. It's got a bunch of greasy oil in it. Okay, then this will lift out with the trucks in it. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, now here's what I want you to look at. This way faces towards the other truck with that little um, uh, U-joint coupling there. All right, now, this guy, one side of this is gonna come out, there we go. Comes out pretty easy. What I found out when putting him back, oh, he's really dirty too. What I found out when putting him back they don't like to go in, back in so nicely, and a lot of times you slide them in like that, and then you drop in the front one. That's and and it seems like after cleaning the the uh, other truck, it got hard to uh, put the shaft back in until I figured out that they slid in that way. Now it's really ooh, that's I mean it looks like it's clean, but it's there's oil and dirty grease everywhere. Okay, so then this plate on the top here, when this front end is on here, that little phosphor bronze wire fits in a slot there. I'm guessing that's for extra power pickup or to make sure that this piece here is energized. It's probably to make sure that that piece is energized, even though it gets power also from the screws that hold it in place, which we will look at later. Okay. I'm not going to put it in the screws in the ultrasonic. They don't need it. That plate's going in, though. This guy's going in. All right. Now, how about these trucks? Okay, take note. On this, this is the front end of the unit. The insulated wheels are insulated on the black rail. The red rail is live. So we go ahead and we get in here. And we undo this guy. There's no way to get the trucks in here without using these screws in the middle. Okay, there we go. We got a side frame. All right. And there's our wheels. They're going in. This screw here is not, and this screw here is not. But when we're done, we'll clean this up. We'll probably put some ox guard behind <clears throat> behind these guys. Oh boy, that is a that is a tight one. This one may be so tight, and it is. If it doesn't come loose. I'm just not. I'm not going to force it. I'm going to leave it. It's not important. We've got one out. That's all we really needed. So we'll leave it in the cleaner just like this. So when it's affixed in there, this thing freely turns around. No problem. We can clean that up with a wire brush, and we'll get everything we need to have cleaned on it. Not a problem. Okay. So there it is. Truck disassembly. Now we're going to put it in the ultrasonic. We're going to clean it. We're going to clean these guys. 
get rid of all the old oil and grease just like that and then we're going to reassemble it to this and we'll put some red lithium in there and we only need a little bit of red lithium in this thing and what we've got to make sure we do when we took this out this shaft was very free in that it, it was you could like almost spin it it was free enough when we go back in we want to make sure that that is not tight all right so let's clean it up and then later we'll come back and take a look at it 